Hello, my name is Zhong Lin Wang, ZL Wang from Georgia Tech. I'm a professor at Georgia Tech. Uh, my research involves nanomaterials, nanotechnology, with applications in nanomedical, nanoenergy, and nanoelectronics. Our research involves several parts. The first part is energy conversion. We are developing technology to convert mechanical energy, for example, your body movement energy, noises, vibrations, and any kind of tiny physical movement into electricity. For what? We try to use this energy to power tiny little electronic devices. The goal of nanotechnology is to make devices smaller, better, and smarter. But once the size becomes small, the energy requirements also become small. In a lot of cases, when the volume becomes small, battery is not the best choice. And we are thinking, can we use the energy available in our environment to power such devices? So that for the environmental applications such as in biosensors, in vivo biosensors, uh, environmental monitoring, and even some kind of uh, personal health care, uh, building f structure monitoring, etc. Those environment requires the energy conversion from mechanical energy to electricity for power some devices. Our future is complete wireless self-powered nano devices. This is the first research. The second research we involve built electronic devices we call nano piezotronics. This is about utilize force or pressure triggered electronic process to fabricate new transistors, new diode that's very sensitive to the force you applied. And such a device can be utilized in the future for strain sensors, strain switches, electronic signatures, and many more. The third research we involved in is biomedical. We try to characterize the cell mechanical properties, electrical properties. Can we use the electrical or mechanical characteristic of normal cells, cancer cells, to form a single cell diagnostic technology. The fourth research we involve in is bio-inspired processes. This have two parts. One is biophotonics or smart biophotonics. For example, like butterfly wings, can we replicate butterfly wings and uh, tune the dielectric function so we can make smarter photonic structures. The second part of this project also involves the bio-inspired uh, biological process. For example, we're mimicking the uh, food of the gecko, uh, this tiny little animal. And this is the largest animal can hang itself upside down on the ceiling. Can we make the food use the nanomaterials? And the goal is that to for interconnect space technology in the, in the future. So we so far we have used carbon nanotubes to make this kind of structures. We can handle 100 newton per centimeter square. That means that for a size five by five centimeter of such structure, we can hang a man of 100 kilogram on the wall. This is the fourth research. The, the fifth research we involve functional materials. This means the materials that have magnetic, ferroelectric, piezoelectric multifunctionality. Our goal is to integrate these materials into devices so that our future is involved smaller, better, multifunctional systems. That's the goal of our research. Thank you.